while well, I go on my people, so Double L's got kicked out of OFB. And let's chat about it for a second here. My man was snitching, my man wasn't about that life like that. That little Selfridges altercation that happened with Brand OK and all that, my man told on the ops. And I'm telling you, man, this is the biggest slavery ever. Their man were pulling out blades, scrapping in that Selfridges, throwing chairs at each other. All these designer clothes in Selfridges, guys, they're all made by Batty Man. These men were fighting around designer clothes made by Batty Man. Gucci, Versace, Dior. All of these clothes, they're designed by Batty Man. These men are fighting around clothes made by Batty Man. Them men are smiling at these black youths doing all this extra stuff while they're comfy. And I don't care about OFB, double L's like that. He's not my favourite youngin. His flow used to be like, Ten toes get spun already, jump out, ching up your chest already. A man sounded depressed on every tune. He ruined all the tunes, all the best OFB tunes. He had an existential crisis flow. And I wanna let you guys know, subscribe, like. My channel's popping off, I'm getting haters now. You know you've made it when you've got haters. I've got Rastafari man in my comments talking about how I need to submit to Haile Selassie and all this. I had man in the Central C comment section telling me I'm a dickhead for not living in the middle of nowhere and eating raw chicken. But let's go back to double L's because this video is about double L's and how my man snitched. How my man put all his eggs in one basket music. And he's lost all his music legitimacy now. My man's got nothing. My man can't make any more music videos on Farm Block. The thing is, all of these man blow up. They're still on Farm Block. They're still making music videos on Farm Block. There's about 50 different music videos on Farm Block. Why do you still need that? Cause And what's he doing as an alternative to rapping? My man's becoming a boxer now. Let's talk about it. Road, boxing, music, them three. Them three are the only solutions that man are offered. And we're going to talk about boxing. We're going to talk about entertainment, footballers. Because I talked about it in an SJ video and everyone's talking about how I need to expand on it. So let's go into it. The thing is, if you want to become a musician, you're kind of selling yourself. You're the product. So Double L's was the product in his music. Lil Nas X is the product in his music. He's selling his soul. That's why I say you're selling your soul because you're selling yourself as the product. Let's say you're a businessman. Let's say you're selling clothes. Them clothes are the product. You're not the product. If you want to, you could sell your business to someone else and they can acquire it. Cause they're not the product. The whole infrastructure is the product. Everything combined is the product. Central C is the product. And that's why you see man wearing pink and being a batty man. That's why you see Lil Nas X making tunes about Satan and then man's going back to God again, like some bipolar youth. It's about what you're selling. And Double L's, he was a rapper. Now he wants to be a boxer. Nothing came up about how man's going to be a computer scientist. TPL, what's that guy called in TPL again? Philly. He wants to be a software engineer now. And I have to give him props so that he's a smart guy. He's not that good at rapping. He's kind of dead at rapping. But man knows. The 9 to 5 saves lives. And I mean it deep from my heart because these entertainment, man. They're all selling themselves. And let's chat about Double L's baby mother. Because my man's got a baby mom. And he was at 18. You start 18, 17 having youths. And it's mad because man's got a baby now that he needs to focus on. Guys, don't have youths when you're a youth because you can end up homeless. And I'm not kidding. I've seen it happen before. Man are stressing, working three jobs, working overtime, providing for their youth when they're 18. And now they piss their life away just because they saw Laquisha who had a big back. And now man's doing star jumps. Man's competing in boxing, getting hit in the head. Competing. Risking brain damage for his youth. And we're going to talk about boxing now. Who better to talk about boxing than an ex-amateur boxer? Man used to be on it. Duck, weave. My right cross was mad. My left hook. You man don't know about my left hook. I was a middleweight, guys. Man was ready to tear up the whole division. Then I realised, man's getting brain damage for what? Boxing ain't a job. Music ain't a job. You're the product. It's like modern day gladiator fighting. Man are watching you from the sidelines. Watching you beat each other up. Guys, the boxers aren't the main people in boxing. It's the promoters. It's these man. These man behind the scenes. These man control the whole thing. People talk about how it's rigged and how it's corrupt. Boxing is a corrupt sport, guys. 
everyone has their own intentions behind the scenes sometimes you gotta get a knockout because if you don't get a knockout your match card's gonna be fixed the results are gonna be fixed the judges are in on it these promoters eddie hearn these are the real stars of boxing i met eddie hearn before anthony joshua isn't a boss mayweather floyd mayweather he's not a boss he had to sell out to israel he had to post about israel on his instagram because my man's a slave to the money no matter how much mayweather makes he's a slave to the peas bruv you can offer me all the money on this planet man's not selling out palestine never free palestine a hundred times a thousand times over and over again stay away from these people that sideline watch these celebrities guys they're watching from the sidelines watching all these celebrities live their lives i am not on that man's trying to become the celebrity of my own life and let's talk about the immigrant mentality the immigrants they come over to this country they work a job they put their head down they lock in they don't know who heady one is they don't know who t on wayne is they don't know double l's they just lock in work their job they get their nine to five after a few years they get a business sorted out and this is what man's preaching man's whole channel's gonna blow up subscribe like bang i'm out